Hi, uncles. I'm Uncle Fester, so I did a hi, uncles. Oh, okay. Love that. I'm not letting the James Charles thing go. I love it. That's your thing, though, is like not letting things go. Like, that's your, that is yeah, your joke. Kind of. I <laughs> yeah. think it's funny, you know. <laughs> That, and also that it upsets people so much. But today I'm Uncle. I am Uncle Fester from the Adams Family. What is this? Uncle Fester. Nobody knows who I am, which is so crazy, except for TikTok. Hey, um, I am Jennifer from Jennifer's Body, a great movie by Diablo Cody, starring Amanda Seyfried, Megan Fox. Um, she's a uh, zombie-eating cheerleader. Zombie eat? Wait, you eat zombies? <laughs> you said zombie-eating. Boy-eating. She's a zombie. Everyone oh. says vampires. So I keep crapping people with a zombie. She's not a zombie, actually. She's I not thought really that was a, half dead. I thought that was a really interesting premise. Someone who eats zombies. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like fresh and unique. I mean, that would be a cool one. Yeah. I mean, maybe that could be a concept. Yeah. Sweet. I just wanted to be cute for TikToks and OnlyFans. So, like, when I came up with the I came up with the idea to do Halloween episodes, I did not think you would participate, but I wanted to forewarn you that I was going to be in costume, not knowing you were going to take it to this, like, extra level that you have taken it yeah, to. Yeah, I was just going to ask if you're embarrassed uh, for the second week to sit next to me. How do I known you were going to be like so intricate first of all i didn't think you had hair and makeup people which you didn't you asked for my hair and makeup people which is totally fine love giving yeah, them work I but i'm just saying yeah i didn't think oh he's not going to have the hair and makeup like i do that, that's what i do that's my thing i always look like the character and then you were all of a sudden once you got my hair and makeup people i was just like oh he's gonna like really step it up and so then, i literally <laughs> i messaged you and i said last just night. so you know <laughs> well you should have known from last week after i showed up as james charles <laughs> and snapped on you sister <laughs> You should have known. I said, just so you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm going all out again. So don't say I didn't warn you. I know, but I... And then the first thing you say when you show up is like, oh, somebody <laughs> should have told me. Yeah, I shaved my <laughs> eyebrows. Yeah, you went on. And I shaved my whole fucking head. This is not a prosthetic. This is not some kind of bullshit <laughs> parlor trick. I shaved all my fucking hair off. I was ready to shave my my eyelashes but That's everyone crazy. said no don't do it yeah well you also should have done the eyebrows because when you take the makeup off you're gonna look crazy yeah it takes like five months apparently to <laughs> grow them back yeah i have a photo you want to see me just normal yeah wait oh without that with no eyebrows yeah i took a photo before oh she my put gosh. On my makeup. but the thing is i kind of wanted them to do um i don't know why nobody proposed doing that here that's what i look like you don't look bad. It's not that bad, right? Who do you look like? You kind of look like someone like Paul Giamatti, maybe. Who's that? You know who Paul Giamatti is. Who's Paul Giamatti? Are you being so serious? Swear on your mother's life who that you don't know who Who the fuck is Paul Giamatti? Are you kidding? You think I would waste time? Precious mo- Oh, that's- Okay, also the you're worst a, photo. Hey, you're a bitch. <laughs> He is actually so hot in Sideways. If you talk Paul Giamatti Sideways, like, he's so hot in that movie. Like, he's actually hot. You're comparing me to Pig Vomit? Oh, okay. Yes, knowing that. That's his name from, you know. I know. Wait, why don't you like to mention Howard Stern? You're, like, have this, like, this weird thing. You said your audience comes for you when you mention Howard Stern. Like, I love Howard Stern. You, like, refuse to what? talk about him. Like, you don't like talking about him. You don't like mentioning, I, like, his I name. I talk about him. Because you, you said, like, about? oh, that movie. Like, you don't really say his name. Howard Stern's private parts. I just referenced a character in the movie. Um, he's Jewish. Him and Adam Sandler read the Torah on his show like the other day. They literally, or what was it, Torah? Something. I don't know. They were so reading. anyway. Um, hey. So I went all out, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna good. regret it. But I, the, I, look- I, I, I was like, listen, you know, I wanted to look good. I wanted to go out. But if she would have suggested maybe doing it with glue, but it, think- does it look as good with glue? No, you definitely, you definitely committed yeah, more with yeah. shaving the eyebrows. But now you're gonna have to be for all the episodes to come till March. You're gonna have no eyebrows. Yeah, I think it's funny though, in a way. Oh, I to just, have to just live through the misery of having no eyebrows for a it's while. It's hard to look at. And you have an anniversary trip this weekend. Like you're not gonna have sex this weekend. Like I could never have sex with someone with no eyebrows. Oh, she'll bag me. No offense, to anyone. What? What? She'll bag me. Bag. She'll oh, bag me. Bag over your head. Yeah. Is that what you do? Is that a thing? I've never heard yeah, of that. Yeah, she'll bag me. I can see that for sure. I can see that. Is that a thing? I it yes. What so is what? This? So how was your weekend? It was great. What is this? What are you doing? I just want to like. Okay, so uh, we ha- I made this special candle. Okay. You remember Gwyneth Paltrow smells like my vagina candle? I remember you talking about it. I don't really remember. So it. I made a candle. I said, "Fuck her. Why does the girls get all the fun?" I said, "Made a candle. That smells like my butthole." This is a real one. Are you really selling it? Yes. I swear. And all the profits go to prostate cancer. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. How did you get this made? How do you guys have it everything made? It took a made? while. Because we're fucking, because we take things seriously. Can you give we me can... some connections? Like, Here, this is the whole it. point. No. Try it. Oh, my God. <laughs> but it's unique, right? It's not just, it's not like just farts. It's like a real smell of butthole. Oh, my God. That's so disgusting. Yeah. 
What? Who made that? So, this is everything. Yeah, oh my god. So, so anyway, this is iconic. Last year when Gwyneth made her candle, we're like, this is fucking stupid. This You're candle's gonna light bullshit. it? No, don't light yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I gonna be worse. No, it's, no, no. It, it'll be available in like a month. But oh. we, we first of all, we worked with an essence company to perfect oh. the perfume scent. And um, oh my god, I, I was so I was bad. just I was specifically like I don't want just sulfur because you could just get fart liquid and it smells like fart. But, Ugh, no. but I was like, no, 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 it's got to smell like musky, puby, boe, farty. <laughs> yeah, that's what my butthole it, smells like. It doesn't smell so bad. It doesn't smell like a fart. It smells just more like yeah, like a moist butthole. Like you haven't showered yeah. for the day. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so, Ooh, but it's... so I really was tr trying to be true to form here and. Okay. Uh, and yeah, all the profits are going to go to prostate cancer oh, awareness cool. or to research, whatever. All of it. All these poor men with ass cancer. That'd be awful. Wait, it's ask. Oh, it is ass cancer. Yes, the ass cancer. Mm. And so they'll be available in a month or so. Okay, now what? Try this. Watch. No. What? I don't want to smell it. Why are you blowing it my way? <laughs> oh my god, that smells so bad. Stop. <laughs> I hate puke. I hate burps. I hate. Oh my god, that smells so horrible. The, when it burnt, when it blows oh out, is the worst. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can actually puke right now. Like I feel yeah. like that is. Oh my god! I hate that stuff. Like anything like that. Like ugh. So anyway, how was your weekend? Oh, the oh, first thing. It's so bad. You know, I almost didn't agree to even do this podcast because Moses told me like you burp a lot, and I hate burping I don't so burp. much. He said you burp a lot. I don't burp at all. Almost at all. Oh well, Why burping, farting, all of that, and I hate all of it. Do you I don't do that? burp. Or, I mean, I don't burp or fart in front of my guests. But on the Have podcast, you ever seen me burp or fart? I just got nervous. Have you, you ever seen me well, burp not, or fart? I'm not a guest anymore. This is our so fifth episode. I know. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Congrats. All right. Let's uh, get to some business. This is stupid. This is boring. I hate that you already downplay everything. Like, what the hell? You were the one that convinced me that our last episode was like trash. <laughs> and then everyone's like, we love that episode. So you should, I didn't really you should follow that. my lead. Mm. Okay, let me pull up my notes. Happy anniversary, by the way. Congrats on marriage. Thank you. You guys are very sweet, actually. You're very open-minded that you don't care that I do OnlyFans. Last week, you thought that we weren't romantic and you thought our relationship was a sham. I noticed you stepped it up on Instagram. Now you guys are like, love her, hottie. I've always <laughs> done no, that. No, you haven't. I followed you guys for a year and you never Okay, so here, here I've got all a, of a sudden, it's like, love him. I've got a bunch him. of stuff I want to get to today. So let's cut through the bullshit. Oh my god! So I feel sick from that. First of all, real. last last um, oh. last week you admitted you don't know any, what the Holocaust is or why we oh fought. Oh my Hill. god! Are we really gonna go and there? So I asked you to watch Schindler's List. You the next me watch Schindler's List, and I was like, no, but also okay. Let me just do it. Like what? I know you said yes, I'd love to. That would be all. I said <laughs> it would be funny. You watch Schindler's List. No, no, no okay, yeah. Stop with no. the fucking. Okay. No, my initial reaction was like, yes, I'm excited to watch this because everyone yes. talks about it and I don't know. Yes. So initially, yes. I was like, yes, yes I'm down. Uh -huh. Liam Neeson, Ralph Fiennes, I'm down. I'm in for this movie. Mm -hmm. Do you have oh, questions about oh, it or oh, we're just? <laughs> did it? Did it uh, were you surprised that a movie about the Holocaust was sad? Oh yeah, it was way too sad. We started like watching it. And then our dinner arrived, and I felt really sad eating, like, mac and cheese while someone was getting blown in the back eat, of the head. eating the mac and cheese is sad enough. <laughs> it was. I That's felt so fat that enough. day. Because I had Panda Express at that for lunch, and then I had the mac and cheese for dinner, and I'm like, wow, I'm really fat. God. But then um, we watched it, and it was really sad. And it was audibly hard to hear. Like, just my only critique of Schindler's List is, like, I get it. It's sad, and it was, like, all, it was probably a great movie that won Oscars. But, like, audibly, I couldn't hear them. It wasn't an accent thing. It wasn't, like, I just couldn't. The audio, audio was subtitles? horrible. They didn't have subtitles. You know, you can turn on subtitles. How? No. Stop. You don't know how to turn on Anything subtitles? Anything has subtitles? Does Bro. this have subtitles? Yeah. Every, well, yeah, actually it does. It has captions. All right, stop. I didn't You're know. Being you ridiculous. Anyways, aside from the subtitles, like auto, Let the me audio read was this. horrible. And Let it was all in black and white, which I feel was a cop out. Whoever directed that film, it Steven was Spielberg directed okay, it. Okay, I he think kinda, he, he knows a few things. I think he cheapened out with it by not having to do it in, in color. Like you, for blood, he probably just used like chocolate syrup or something, you know, rather than like you think he's saving Tarantino. on the budget. Literally, you think chocolate syrup. I think so because. All right, let Quentin, me read what you, don't you texted do that. me. He would go full out. Shout out, Quentin. Let me. Oh yeah, that that would be appropriate in uh, the Schindler's List. Some samurai <laughs> sword shit and blood no! squirting everywhere. No, but he didn't gore us I'd, I'd and love that was to better. see. Yeah, Schindler's List should have uh, really graphic gore. You're right. And who? They all 
the same. They literally all look the same. I was so confused. Who and they all have they all wear the armbands, not just the Nazis. The Jews wore the armbands. Everyone wore armbands. I'm like, I'm so confused who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. And even the Jews were on the bad guy's side. I was so confused. Like the Jews were like on the the bad guys. I was so I was Moses, so confused. how do you uh, <laughs> this is insane. Do you can't Yeah, he hated it too. Well, this yeah. but th- this is like ins- <laughs> this is not the takeaway you're supposed to get from Schindler's List. We watched, we did watch the ending on YouTube, but we couldn't understand the ending. He was just really you skipped to the either ending. he was upset or happy. Either he thought he could free oh, more he was Jews. Stoked. He was stoked that yeah because he freed all those people yeah, and they're like thank stoked. you. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Why would he be sad? How could you misinterpret that? He said, "I could have sold this ring and oh. saved more lives." Oh, I did not hear. I couldn't hear it. <laughs> I just know he started crying. I think and I was like. Have- Oh my you know how God, some people dude. are so happy that they saved all the people? They're like, thank you, we, we got saved. And I couldn't understand if he was happy or sad. And neither, we couldn't understand. I feel it. like. We tried. We tried. I feel like I'm living through a second Holocaust right now. <laughs> with me or just like. Yeah, with oh, you. With Here, me, let I'm me read your text telling. message you sent me. You said, we only watched one third of it. We tried. I said, you couldn't finish it? No. I watched the ending on YouTube, though. So I kind of get it. We were eating mac and cheese. <laughs> I felt weird to watch people's head being blown off from behind yeah. at the same time I was eating mac and cheese. <laughs> it was okay. Couldn't hear anything. We could still talk. Might not be great at <laughs> quiz, though. I get the jizzed of it. Well, I thought you might quiz me, so I was, like, trying to give you the heads up. Like, I only watched, like, a third of it. So I didn't know if we were being quizzed on this. So, so we're recording this on Monday. Is it Indigenous People Day or Christopher Columbus Day? Oh, today's Christopher Columbus Day? Indigenous people today. No. What? Okay. If you are way too PC these days, that's not a thing. Like, is it a thing? I don't know. It is a thing. Because Christopher <laughs> Columbus, well, you know that the Native Americans was the group, one of the, the, the single largest genocide in human history. 50 million. I didn't know that. 50 to 60 million Native Americans died because How? of people like Christopher Columbus. Oh, he killed them? Yeah, disease and slavery and just straight up genocide, killing them. Yeah. Did you know this or did you research this for today? I think literally everybody knows that. I don't think so. Why do we celebrate Thanksgiving then? We're celebrating the death of indigenous people. Well, Thanksgiving was more about the triumph of the two different communities coming together. But Christopher Columbus is definitely celebrating someone who came and conquered the natives and committed genocide on them and raped them and stuff. Oh, okay. So we should not be celebrating today then. Well, it's a it's it's a it's a tough one because Christopher Columbus is such an important historical figure, but he's also a, you know waged genocide on on uh, and killed fifty million Native Americans. That's so sad. Yeah, you wouldn't watch the movie though. You just watch. There's the a end. movie on it. You would skip. There's to the not end. a movie on it. I watch. I watch in Glorious, I watch historical movies. I watch in Glorious Bastards. I watch like those kind of movies. Yeah, but those are those are actually just fiction though. Okay, but they're in a time era. They're in a time period. Okay, so. Happy Christopher Columbus Day, but not to the people who kill Native Americans. Should we just say that? Well, he did kill Native oh, Americans. So what do we say? Okay, happy Indigenous, Indigenous People Day. Indigenous people. Thank you for finding America, right? Or being here. I guess Thanks they were. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thanks for being in America. Thanks for being here. You're not anymore. <laughs> no, they are. Like Pachanga and stuff. They're well, all Native well, Americans. I, who was it that said this joke? And it's, I think it was Chappelle. He says, put it this way. When was the last time you saw two Native Americans together at the same time? Oh, Why? <laughs> Because we fucking, well, we, I mean, I was, my ancestors weren't here at the time. <laughs> they but, were in the Holocaust. Yeah, we were over there getting the business <laughs> yeah. on the other end. Shit. Poor, that's so bad. I feel so bad for the Jews. Damn, they're fucking in the ghetto and Where's shit. Where's your family? Did Were your family slave owners and shit? No, no, but serious, I shouldn't even say this because it's going to be too controversial, but I, I did do a 23andMe and I have ancestors that were from Africa. How for much? Real. You have some black. I think it was like literally like thirteen percent, but that's like You're a 13% lot. You're thirteen percent African. Yeah, but I don't want to say that because oh. I feel like people are gonna come for me. Like, okay, you're just trying to be black. Well, why? I, You're just stating your genetic. I'll look, I have I have the breakdown because I sent it in a while ago, and then I got the email in my in my spam because I was like, hey, I, I sent this in, and like, oh, well, we sent it to spam, so they resent it and went to spam. Or You're thirteen percent black. <sighs> Oh, God, don't make that a headline because I don't want it to be a controversial thing. I'm, I'm titling that no, the podcast. No, please don't. Everyone comes to me if I think I'm so, anything. I, you, I don't know if those are accurate. I don't think they're... I are don't you going to make a video saying that you are you identify no. as African-American? <laughs> no, I don't. And I don't because I don't know. But, like, I... My point is I don't know where my ancestors were. But I, I think, like, I think we... I don't know. I mean, Slave we're all owners? Were. No, I think we all were, like, like slaves at some point. We as in you and me because you were Jewish and I'm... What are you? <laughs> I think I'm 18. I don't know. I think Say I'm. Say like, it. What? I don't know. What are you? I don't know. I think I might. 
I have a little bit in me, but I don't want to say that. Like Jews? I, huh? You, no, like African American. Oh, so you think you're because you're thirteen okay, percent black? Not go there. I don't that be you a- were part. Uh, you are a slave. <laughs> Not because if you're 30 percent black, it's oh, more likely that well, your no. ancestors probably you know raped slaves. I didn't know they didn't. Oh my god, I'm not going there. No. But what's the what's the other <laughs> oh uh, what's the other not you know 87 percent? Um, I have some. I have mostly Greek and Hungarian, and then there's like oh, there's some there's some other stuff. Hmm. You're but. slave owner. No, I'm not. I'm not a Mikey over here. Oh, by the way, can what happened to um first of all, can we get Dave Chappelle on our show? You look like Uncle Fester. That's crazy. Maybe you could be in the reboot. I know. Where's my are you, we going? Go ahead. Uh whenever you're ready. Yeah, I wanna be I do wanna be Uncle Fester. Would you actually like if they asked you to be in a new Oh yeah, I did. Really? I'll be Uncle Fester. You'd be so good. You look you look like him. <laughs> oh my god. The ears and the face. Wow. Oh my god! Right, where's my camera? This one. That's who you were meant to be. This is crazy, and you would—you uh, should totally do it. Okay. Oh, so, cool. uh, as you remember, <laughs> I dominated you in trivia last week. Oh gosh. And uh, you sent me fifteen hundred dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. And so, as an act of redemption <laughs> and charity to you, oh. I said, "Okay, you want it to you? You say you have all this fast knowledge in Broadway musical." Oh no! Questions. So I put together <laughs> just for you. Broadway musical trivia. You put these questions together? Well, the guys did. Okay. Are you competing with me or anything? No, because I, I don't know anything. I'll just ask you a few. Wait, why are we doing this? Does it just make me look stupid? No, <laughs> I, I, I thought you would look smart because you what know do so I much. get out of this? Here. Am I just playing for the fun? For the okay. hell? In which musical does teenager Tracy Turnblad <laughs> break the mold when she auditions to dance oh, on the Corny Collins? Collins? I was like, what am I even reading? It's all <laughs> nonsense. Turnblad. Hairspray. Okay. Of course I know that. Which musical has won the most Tony Awards in history? <laughs> oh, my God. Like, this kind of stuff I don't know. Tony Awards. Oh. Hello. Hamilton? No, the producers. The pro- oh, my God. Really? We just watched it the other day. Which musical contains the song, The Story of Tonight? Oh, Hamilton. Got him. <laughs> Got him. What is the name of the musical based on Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Spam a lot. Okay, you're doing good. <laughs> Which musical debuted on Broadway the earliest, Kinky Boots or Hamilton? Oh, Kinky Boots. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> These are so easy. Which music? Which musical contains the song <laughs> S.O.S.? Oh, uh, Mamma Mia. I'm impressed. <laughs> For which animated musical film did Sir Elton John win an Academy My Award? Kid. There it is. <laughs> which year did music, mu- movie musical Chicago win Best Film Oscar? Um, Say that again. In which year did movie musical Chicago win Best Film Oscar? In what year? Yeah. Ooh, I don't 2003. Like this, you got it. <laughs> what is the longest running musical on Broadway? Oh, Phantom of the Opera. That's right. <laughs> which music contains the song Memory? Cats. Yep. Which Do you like cats? Because I hear- I hate I, it. Yeah, I, I hate cats. Yeah. I always hear people saying they hate cats. Did you see the movie? I saw. I mean, the movie, I just saw <laughs> bits and pieces and it was just so- Horrible. It was just unbelievable. I wonder they did that as a troll though to make it horrible like no they lost like a hundred million dollars that's a hell of a troll that's like me shaving my eyebrows it's like i'm gonna troll everybody by shaving my eyebrows and then you're like fuck i gotta live like this for five months it's iconic i love which musical is based on the book by gregory mcguire based on the gregory mcguire i have no idea wicked Oh, wow. Didn't know Steven Sondheim did the music. Didn't know who did the book. So, congrats. Which character was played by Zine's, Renee Zellweger in the film adaption? Maxi Hart. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which group's music is featured in Mamma Mia? Abba. <laughs> which musical contains the song Summer Nights? Grease. These are which, so easy. Which, which, I don't know any of these. Which <laughs> musical tells the story of two drag queens and a transgender woman who are contracted to perform a drag show at Alice Springs? Oh, they're gonna come for me. Priscilla, Queen oh. of the Desert. I've never saw him. Sorry. Oh Which God, musical I'm... contains the song Do Re Mi? <laughs> Sound of Music. Which rock musical with Rock mus- of Ages? Or is it a different one? Nope. Was it the Green one? You want me to one? finish the yeah. question? <laughs> yeah. With music by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh. School of Rock. Nope. Wait. <laughs> rock musical by Andrew Starlight Lloyd Webber? Starlight Express. Oh. I guess I should let you finish. Sorry. If, There's so many. If my friends rock. could see me now, was a song from oh. which musical? Um, I know the song. If they could see me now, that little gang of mine. I'm drinking fancy. Sweet charity. Yeah. 
Shit, I, that's an old one. Which musical contains the song I Dreamed a Dream? I dream. Um, oh, I Dreamed a Dream. Uh, Les Mis? Yeah. <laughs> Which musical contains the song Seasons of Love? Oh, Rent. Okay, you did pretty good. 925,000, do you know what? 600 no, I don't, minutes. No. You don't know I that I don't song? know any of those. Wow. Those are those are pretty basic. Those are pretty easy. Well, you got, yeah, you did pretty good. I'm really good with like lyrics and songs. Like I feel like that would have been my forte, but thank you for re my redemption. Yeah. Do I get something for no, that? No, no, no. You get is a little more, fun? you just get a little... Street you get crime? to feel, yeah, a little street. I can't wait to be on Broadway. We should be on Broadway. They have Adam's family on Broadway. We could both be in it. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about some drama you've been in. <laughs> let's not. Let's talk about. Okay. I thought you wanted to. Yeah, well, no, I'm excited. I'm what do you want to talk about? Because I have more stuff. Do you want to make so you far or do you want to talk? Things. I have so many things to talk about. So many things. Um, Where do we start? I don't even know. Like, when I get heated, I get like really, like, ah, uh, I miss doing these like rant videos because like, when I get heated, I want to talk about it. Like, here's the thing I used to never want to insert myself into drama, but now that I, now that it's like our job is to comment on drama, like, I, I feel like I can. I feel like Joy Behar on The View or something where they just like talk about drama just to talk, you know what I mean? Just to talk about it. So I feel like that's us. So there's what a lot of things. What do you want to talk about? Yeah. Um, there's Mikey, Patrick Starr, James Charles commenting, Chris D'Elia. There's so much to talk about and I don't know where to start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chris D'Elia? Is he back <laughs> in the news? <laughs> no. That was my whole point though. Chris D'Elia was on your show. What happened to him? Do you know? Do you have inside information? Oh, no. I don't have inside information. You never though. talked to him? You haven't talked to him since the scandal? No. Where did he go and why is he hiding? Well, That's I don't all. blame him for not wanting to be in the... But what did he do that was so bad? Here's the thing, right? So he talked to underage girls like, hey, I'm 17. He stopped talking to them, right? Because mm -hmm. he's like, oh, you can't show. I thought you were over 18. Look, I'm the first to condemn old, creepy guys hitting on young girls. But at the same time, oh, he didn't there... do anything wrong. But did he do something wrong? Because yes. he's hiding. Oh, he did. Oh, well, there were stories like in the LA Times that were corrob that like, corroborated by people and like super credible where they like told this one story where he like met this girl and then... He had her like drive out somewhere to give his friend a blowjob or something. And there was another one where like. Was she underage? No, she wasn't. So I guess. It's just a little creepy. He didn't do anything illegal. Right. So it's a big power another, that everyone's well, done. There was another one of like Mostly. where two girls came over to his hotel room after a show and he like pulled out his cock. He's like, who's going to suck my dick? Not a bit, not illegal, but they left and he didn't try to like force them to do anything. Just a little creepy behavior. So he's creepy. So he's going to hide. How many creepy people are in Hollywood? Woody Allen is still making movies, which no, I love. No, no, no. But, but it's just that, like, he lost all of his gigs. Like, he was doing this mm. huge action film on Netflix that they're, like, recasting <gasps> now. Oh, my God. He, and he talks so much about that on his podcast. And his podcast, he just abandoned. Like, he had such a popular thing. And he's just like, okay, bye. Yeah, no, he was on top of the world. He can't just say, like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm a fucking he creep. I, well, I have a wife he? and kid now. But like, why are we talking about Chris Lee? This is like old Because you're friends with him. When I was just like, where did he go? And I felt like you had inside information that you could tell. I'm not. I don't have inside information. You haven't texted him. Hey, how are you doing, man? No. I don't think he wants to hear from me. We're not that close. He was on your podcast a couple times. You think he just used you for clout? It's not you. It's not everything is using people. A little bit, I think. I hate when there's just like a using like relationship. Like oh, I'm gonna go on their podcast. What am I? I, I, I I've done t over 200, well over 200 episodes. I have to keep in touch with every single guest. I think you should. I think that's like the polite thing to do. Yeah, but you can bitched about me texting you. So what's your point? <laughs> well, I'm no longer a guest. Now I'm a co-host on this channel. Okay. What else do you want to talk about? Um, we have Patrick Starr doing his Beetlejuice. Tutorial. Okay, first of all, I'm a huge fan of Beetlejuice. My nails are Beetlejuice. Isn't that I a SpongeBob character? <laughs> Patrick Starr? No, I'm serious. Oh, oh Patrick Starr. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that his name? Oh, there's also a beauty guru named Patrick Starr. Wait, isn't that his name? He's fucking SpongeBob. Who's this idiot wait, with the SpongeBob Wait, name? do you not know Patrick Starr? Uh-uh. Are you being serious? I never know. So everything you say to me, you're like being serious when you don't know Yes. Somebody. So you really didn't know Paul Giamatti? I, I, the name was familiar to me and I recognized him. But you don't know Patrick Starr? Let me look up the Patrick shade, fucking okay. Starr. It's not Shade. I'm not familiar with this shit. Not, he was popular. He was. Talk about Shade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about him? Okay. Beetlejuice. He just did a Beetlejuice video. And he said, oh, today, I'm, he's like, I'm a huge fan of Beetlejuice. I'm doing this look inspired by Beetlejuice today. The great movie starring Kevin Costner. Wrong. Idiot. That's so offensive. That's literally so... That'd be like saying, oh, I love the movie Selena. Like, uh, Selma Hayek did such a great job as her. Like, do you is know it, what I'm saying? That's it, like a little wait, insulting. Wait, wait. Is it more or less offensive than eating mac and cheese during Schindler's List? First of all, I didn't know there was going to be people's heads blown off in Schindler's List. I didn't know that's what it's happened. It's the Holocaust. I didn't know about the Holocaust. I didn't know what happened. I didn't okay, know whatever. Yeah, that they so, literally... But you're, you're more offended because this dude misnamed an actor in Beetlejuice. First of all, it's not just an actor and just Beetle. It's 
It's the most iconic movie ever. I mean, my whole house is dedicated to Beetlejuice. I spent all my money on Beetlejuice was, music wait, I videos. thought it was Egypt. My house currently is Beetlejuice. The new house we're getting is going to be Prince of Egypt. This one's Beetlejuice. I got what, Beetlejuice what, nails. What? What's wrong with you? We love you? a theme. You love a I'm theme. I'm trying Look to think how to put this Look delicately. At you. Look at What's you. Look at you. You're the one that's like, oh, I'm going to go all out for one freaking episode. Bro, my house isn't fucking Beetlejuice themed. Look, Michael Keaton is literally the most iconic person that's ever lived, and it's so insulting to say, and you're going to do a whole ass tutorial on Beetlejuice and not know that. Well, I'm surprised you kept it in. It's like edited it out or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> that nobody around him. He's someone with a team. He gets has like 12 people around him at all times, and no one said it. Mm. I'm going to get shaded for this, too, because I was like, I know someone's going to be like, oh, Trisha, blah, blah, blah. Like, James Charles came for me. Everyone's just coming for me. Look, I'm Is not Is this the really drama, one. though? Let's be honest. Is this really drama no, that he just No, that's not the drama. Misspoke? The drama yeah. I was pissed about was Mikey. Like, that's the drama. Okay, so we're we skipping. So, hold on. Yeah, we'll get there. So, Patrick Starr, we are saying, shame, shame to you, Patrick <laughs> Starr, you piece of shit. <laughs> you inhuman scum. Forgetting, what do you say, Michael Keaton with? He's, no, Beetlejuice starring Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. <laughs> You fucked up. Say that. That's like confusing. Like Denzel Washington, okay. Morgan Freeman. Like, oh, I love like Denzel Washington and like Bruce Almighty. You know, like it's like that's you a little worse because you're like mixing black guys. I'm saying people that are that are often confused. Michael Keaton and who? Kevin Costner. Are they often confused? No, that's what I'm saying. Though I'm just saying like. Okay, if you have <laughs> to say one thing to Patrick Starr, say it into the camera. Then. <laughs> Which is this my camera? Or this that, camera? Just oh. to the yeah to that one. Patrick Starr, I love you. You're doing Actually, great do things. Actually, do oh. that one. Yeah. Patrick Starr, I love you. You're doing great things. But Beetlejuice is iconic, and it's him. cool if you're gonna if you're gonna recreate an iconic character, at least put some respect mm. on Michael Keaton. And then mm. you also mentioned Broadway's Beetlejuice, and you didn't even mention Alex Brightman, who was also iconic as Beetlejuice, who saved wow. the Winter Garden last year. So ooh, please put some respect ooh, on ooh, Beetlejuice, ooh, ooh. a movie by Tim Burton, not starring Kevin Costner, but Michael Keaton. Thank you. Ow. Ouch. Are you gonna tell us Trisha Paytas' message to Patrick Star? You use my name still in all the highlights. That's the whole point of this show. How about we just talk about no, not what it's I'm not I don't want to talk about this every episode. You put Trish Oh my god, but you did it again this week. I'm gonna do it every week. <laughs> Why don't you put Ethan hates somebody, you know? What I, I would mean? I would if I if there was that, of course. You ever seen our normal highlights? It's like Ethan goes after the Pope. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have all this crazy Who does shit. That? Who does the titles? Oh, we do it as a team. Who's actually who's, no? I blame Ian. Ian does it. Really? I'll just absolve all responsibility. <laughs> I'll just let him take all the blame. Love that. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so fa- so we were saying no, no, Patrick Star. No, we, he's fine. Okay, so who else? Let's bleed up to the big drama. So who's oh. the other, like? Is there someone else leading up before we get to uh, James Charles? You know what? I never had what an happened issue with James him. Charles? I never had an issue with him, and I I really didn't. But I can see why now pe- why people don't like him because he's so condescending with his remarks. Yeah. Look, here's the thing. I don't when people talk shit about me or whatever if I talk about someone I expect someone to clap back right like you can't just mention me and not someone to clap back it's vice versa if I mention you like you you can clap back be cute be snarky whatever but his condescending level is what pisses me off so like there was I think it was like on a spilling tea video or something like that like like spill the tea or something I don't know what it's some drama video that said like Trisha Paytas versus James Charles whatever um which I had no problem with him and he literally just commented well he must have watched the video because I said something like oh everybody I know has a problem with James Charles and he commented just like so just so like bleh. he's just like oh every Everybody she knows. I'm like, that's your clapback. Like, you can't think of something a little well, smarter. On. Like, actually, I'll say when I was bitching about him last week, you were saying nice things about him. Yeah. You weren't being mean to him at all. And all I said was, everybody I know has a problem with him. I always said I don't have a problem with him. Like, I was like, hey, let's collab. I need those TikTok views. But you also, know what I'm saying? Who, but who comments on a T video? Like, how fucking. <laughs> Sad is that shit. I mean, he must like love it. Like, I feel like he loves the the drama of people talking about him, right? Who doesn't? Like, I watch, I mean, I don't watch those videos because people are too harsh on me, but um, Jeffree Star unfollowed me. I don't know why, but that's (gasps) on Twitter. Wait, I thought you guys were dogs. Yeah. He unfollowed you? Well, I think we had like a little issue earlier this summer where I didn't like defend him as hard as I defended Shane. So I feel like maybe there was an issue there. I don't know. Jeffree, I'm sorry. We had a little issue in Vegas. Hey, he unfollowed you? Did that break your heart? Did you reach out to him? Yeah. Unfollow is pretty, a pretty hard rejection. Like, like, I'm not going to lie, you know? How many people does he follow? Um, I don't know, but it was like a big thing. Like you can mute somebody, you know what I mean? To unfollow someone's big. Like that's you, a rebuke. You know? Right. Like I'm done with this person. Yeah, but I'm, Jeffrey Star always struck me as a fucking freak. Mm, well, I, I had that thing Not like for a, him. But like, no, he's 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 such a fucking weirdo. Yeah. I mean, like so just his I. whole Yeah, that's a good point. You Maybe know what you're I mean? right. So that's what I'm saying. Like I kind of like always relate it. I think he has a little bit too much of a Oh, he only follows him. 95 people, so that was like an epic rebuke of you. Yeah, right. And he could have just mute me. I was like, damn. He follows Taco Bell. 
Yeah. And not your ass. I know. <laughs> well, who wouldn't, honestly? But the drama channels picked it up and I didn't know, so I unfollowed him, but then I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should oh, have been the last Yeah, because I saw the dramas like Jeffree Star and follows Trisha. And I'm like, oh my god, should I unfollow him too? And I did, but now I feel bad. Should I refollow him? Maybe. Well, no, if he's not gonna follow you, you know, fuck him. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was whatever. It's yeah, fine. but he also strikes me not not nothing to do with the way he looks, just as a very odd dude. Like in a, I don't know. He just he always gave me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, I could see that. I mean, before I met him, I felt that way too. I mean, he was always super cool to me until like the last trip. He like made fun of my weight and skin and stuff like that. So he made fun of your weight. <laughs> yeah, the guy that was filming stopped becoming friends with him, and he's like filming him like talking. What did about he my say skin. about you? Just that I was fat, and I had greasy skin, and my hair sucked. <laughs> What? Why would yeah. he say that about you? I don't know. It was shocking because he invited me on this trip and I didn't go out with him to the club. He's also like, kind of like in a, in peace and love and everything. But like if he's making fun of your weight, he strikes me as like kind of anorexic. He's like super thin. Yeah. And I think he has easy. I think he's sensitive to like people calling him that too. You know, like oh, saying really? he has AIDS and stuff like that. Like people will say oh, that. See, I didn't and even so, think about no, that. No, I know. I mean, you but, think he looks like he has AIDS? No, I didn't say oh. that. But that someone pretending to be his last boyfriend said that. And I, I get it. Like, look, I never thought about saying something. Wait, his last like boyfriend said he has AIDS? His last boyfriend came up with like a fake Twitter, fake Instagram. Like someone faked his last boyfriend, this Andre guy. Yeah. They made a fake account. Oh, that was all fake? Yeah, I guess. That uh, sounds fishy. Well, I didn't really investigate into it really, but. You said he has AIDS though? Yeah. I mean, but you could tell it was like a troll account. You know what I mean? Can but you we can't even talk about it because Jeffree Star said he's going to sue everybody that talks uh, about this. He can't sue us for talking about it. Well, sue H3 podcast channel, not me. I'm not, yeah, I'm just an employee. <laughs> you can sue me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not my first rodeo. Really? Are you, but do you mind a lawsuit? I mind it because I don't. Of course, I don't want a lawsuit. Oh. But I'm just saying, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be silenced. Yeah, I, I like respect that. Same. I, I will like talk about shit. Like Jackson it's Hill was like gonna sue me. Well, he so can sue that. you for slander. Okay, what are we? We're not slandering. I'm not we're, slander. we're we're speaking hypothetically. We're wondering. I, I don't. I'm not saying. This this would be slander. Okay, don't do it. Don't do it. Wait, don't do it. No, but no, I'm not saying it. I'm just saying this would be but slander. But take that clip and then put no, it No, but in the whole context. Let's if not you, do it. Let's if not I said, do it. If Let's I said Jeffree not... Star no, has no, AIDS no, and I have it. proof of it, it, that's slander. No, no. But I don't have doesn't. proof. But I don't have proof. And for all I know, he doesn't have AIDS. He, yes, no. He, but if I said, if you said. I'm not in this If podcast. Trisha went online and said Jeffree Star ah, has super AIDS and I have proof. I don't condone this, FYI. Any but of this. you never said that. <laughs> but still, you just saying that is perpetuating it. It's like it's oh. like igniting it more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But well, I don't have proof for the okay. record, and and he doesn't have AIDS, as far as I'm aware. And then Jacqueline Hill said she was going to sue me because for what? Because I talked about her <laughs> for talking about her in my Instagram story. Wait, who's Jacqueline Hill now? I'm trying to catch <laughs> all the drama. You did a video on her last year on her hairy lipsticks. Remember the girl with the hairy lipsticks? Wait, I did. Oh, she had the fucking the the it had like <laughs> rot in it. Oh shit. <laughs> So was she's back? <laughs> no, she's not back. But um, well, she just she just came for me. Well, she just they, I hate when people suddenly come for me. If you're gonna come for me, just say my name. Just Jeff went from the vlog squad like that too. They last year people don't say my name, but they like to insinuate. Yes. Oh, this person talking. Come just say <laughs> say it, bitch. Wait, I don't want to call her a bitch because that's rude. So what if I call her a bitch? A word or a oh, rude. A bitch isn't a rude word. I guess it depends how you use it. Yeah. I don't like calling women bitch because it feels very chauvinistic. Maybe for my guy, But if yeah. I say batch, come for me, batch, that's okay. Batch. Batch. Okay. Yeah. Look, yeah. Tell me what happened with Jacqueline Hill. Why is she coming for you? Um, I guess because I made stories saying she threatened to sue her ex-husband because her ex-husband was talking to me about something. And she, I, it's just, I'm going to sue you. Talking about what? I, I guess they have like an NDA. I probably shouldn't be talking about this. They have an NDA and they're divorced. So it's not your problem if they have an NDA. You're not an NDA. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too. But if he how tells is he going to sue you? It's his <laughs> no, no, problem. No, Jacqueline's going to sue me for talking about. No, she can sue him for breaking it. Oh, maybe that was it. But I don't want her to sue him either. Oh, fuck him! Tell no, me. he's a good guy. I he's want the tea. Guy. There's no tea. There's just Jacqueline. It's like. Were you she... guys? Did you fuck her ex or something? No. Oh. Well, yes, but that's oh, long. You did. <laughs> oh no wonder she hates you. Wait, when did you fuck her up? No, this was like last year. This is like last December. This is a while ago. But um, no. Wait, of course she hates you. When did? You, w w how long after they broke up did you fuck oh, her? Oh, she cheated on him with his best friend, kicked him out while he was, uh, you know, that whole thing. Well, I can't but keep also, up with this. Can I just say? Can I just say she thinks that he told me this? No. If you go in the photos of her current boyfriend, he was friends with her ex husband years before, and then all of a sudden, oh, they get together. All of a sudden, like. And he's kicked to the curb. Someone, by the way, they got married when they were 17, mm -hmm. before she had money, mm -hmm. kicked him to the curb and started dating his like best friend that worked in the recording studio like Was his a best month friend later. Hot or something? Not absolutely not. So he has a cringe YouTube channel about cooking because he's trying to be like Jacqueline now. Like, hey guys, welcome to my cooking show. Mm. Like, he's not hot. 
<laughs> anyway, he's just a good guy. She likes his companionship. Huh? Maybe he's a good guy. Oh she really? Oh really? Someone that's gonna fuck his best friend's wife? That's right. a good guy. No. <laughs> exactly. So I don't mind coming for his cooking channel. Should I watch his cooking channel video? Sure. Cooking What's with Farnham or something. Cooking with Farnham. <laughs> so many people are going to go to this video. Farnham. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this idiot's up to. Is Wait. Where is it? No. Wait. Cooking with Farn Farham. Man. Oh, Farnham. Far Farnham. No, Farnham. N U M. Farn. Um. Hum. Um. <laughs> I typed home, Farnham. Cooking with Farnham. Well, he doesn't. There it is. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, his channel's called More Seasoning! Exclamation. <laughs> all right, you want a scallop risotto? Easy and amazing. How many views does he get? 20,000 mm. from one week ago. Okay, not as much clout. Wow, it must be embarrassing to be him. <laughs> Why? Because he doesn't get any views. I know. Well, you know, it's fine if you don't get views. It's just don't be cocky and fuck your best friend's wife. Oh, he's wearing like a Venti shirt? What is he, a baller? Why is he, <laughs> why is he acting like he's rich? She's a baller. She's she like is? a baller. I don't know. Well, she was, but she might still be. I don't know. Well, they live in Florida, She's first buying of all. him clothes, apparently. <laughs> Yo, for sure, buying him clothes. Further into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 50,000 subs, guys. You're, you're not going to ever get there, bro. <laughs> He might after today. Oh, he passed it already. Oh, congrats. Yeah, he smashed it. <laughs> Why do I hate this guy again? I'm like, no, we such... don't hate him. We don't hate oh, him. We don't hate I him. hate watch him because he's so cringy. So he's like, guy hey guys, his... what's up? So this guy fucked his best friend's wife. wife? Yep, Ouch. they were in the recording studio together. He used to film videos for him. Eesh, that's bad. And now he's living in their house that they lived in together. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah, oh. I know. It's a little. Ugh. So what's the ex? So you fucked the ex. Was it a pity fuck or do you like him? No, I was looking into him. He was the one I told you when I first came on your podcast in January. I was like, oh, it's kind of, I ruined the last guy's lives that I was with. I ruined his life because I was kind of like. You ruined his life? I think so. I feel what bad. What did you do to him? I know. Why'd you ruin his well, life? Well, he was kind of seeing someone, which I didn't know. He was kind of seeing someone when he came out to stay with me for like 10 days over New Year's. And then I guess he tried to call her and I got pissed because he tried to call her while he was in my house being like, oh my God, like I miss you. And then I was like, what the fuck? Like what? He, we were like, whatever. And. I was like, what the fuck? And then he called me her name and whatever. So I kind of ruined his life by telling the girl, like, yeah, we fucked, whatever. He's like, don't tell her that. Well, like, wait, I don't was know. he was cheating on her with you? I, What's I don't all know. These, the these people all suck. <laughs> I don't know the whole situation. Look, he's actually a good guy. And like, doesn't sound like it. No, he's like a, he's just broken. He's just like a broken guy, which I can relate. But I don't know. I, I wish them well. I hope they, they get together. But Jacqueline's like obsessed with him still. And so whatever. I shouldn't be talking about this. Like, I'm going to get. Okay, let's ripped. move on. Yeah, don't. Lame. Let's cut it, actually. No, we're not cutting it. Why don't you cut anything? Because I. Well, we cut sometimes. Look, can we talk about somebody you don't like or that Go you ahead, hate ask watch? Me anything. Do you I... hate watch anybody? Oh, do I hate watch? No, I don't have that much time. I don't watch that much YouTube lately. You knew about the Mikey. You knew about everything. You knew about all these things. Yeah, because these guys do research for me. And I looked up the most juicy one, I'll say. Is um so, uh, Anthony Padilla. Yes, let's talk about his, this. His I'm his so excited. his girlfriend <sighs> Mikey of Glam and Gore. Well, because we've talked about this before, and it's our mm. most disliked highlight of all time is you versus Anthony Padilla. Him calling you out for faking mental illness or whatever yeah. for clout. Mm -hmm. And so it turns out that his girlfriend, then the two of them are like the woke Olympics, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Gold well, medalists. Oh, yeah. They yeah. just can't do no Three wrong. Three-time world champ. We're going to social justice yeah. work for everything that's happening in the world. We got your back. We are always in you, the right. You can tell when you go to, like, Anthony's channel, it's all about, like, the the uh, woke Olympics. Like, everything. Oh. Yeah. But is it? He's also monetizing off these people. He came for me for coming for DID. But also, <laughs> did you give her any of that coin that you made from that DID video all about her multiple personalities? No, I don't think so. And also, how many personalities? Do they all get a cut? Or exactly. do, they, do they share? <laughs> Paycheck to each of them, okay? And it's like, yeah, I, I, I'm so happy about this. He, he alt right deleted me, put me in trash. Let's alt right delete, put Mikey in trash. I'm alt -right finally alt right delete. Oh, like what is that? Straight to trash? <laughs> I have no idea. Alt right that, delete. I think that's it's Dan. To trash. That's like when it doesn't go to the recyclable bin, right? <laughs> just, I think that just straight up deletes it. No recycle. <laughs> is that right? Did I? Okay, I don't know. I kind of just like, I was going. Yeah, they're always in the right. Or white. Okay, so anyway, people. so maybe you can you can recap this better. But someone, this one girl, another swoop. swoop. Is that right? Did I get that right? Uh, I believe her name is swoop. Her Watch name her video. Is, uh, here, I've got it here. Some, long. Oh wait, shit, fuck. Canceled. Oh, fuck. There's too much <laughs> of this shit. Uh, uh, mother of God, where is it? Okay, here. 
Swoop, yeah. Swoop, Swoop yeah. made this mm-hmm. video, and she's like, and it's an hour long. Dude, you beauty. I love it. You beauty For, fuckers I, need I'm to edit your community. shit. I'm just, yes, you are. Oh, can I just say? I, You're wrapped I, up in all these people's lives, and they all, like, it's an hour long. I'm not, but can I just and say? And she just pulls every point. Like, I'm interested in what she has to say, but she pulls every point, to, like, out to the max. I loved every to minute. To the point where I just want to fucking wrap it around my neck <laughs> and hang myself. I loved every minute. I wish it was longer. And can I just say, I'm not in the beauty community, but you true Hollywood story reach out to me and they want they call me in for an interview on the beauty community I'm like I'm not in the beauty community but I'll like I'll go head to head with them all day long like mm. I fucking can't stand them I love that they're being brought down no one gets a shit about the beauty community anymore it's amazing so Mikey Glam and Gore yeah wait what was the question <laughs> okay so this girl swoop made an hour long video oh, that should have yeah. been 15 mm-hmm. minutes mm-hmm. yeah but I was intrigued because she says Mikey is a homophobic oh this is what you said anyway oh. she's like she's the worst person ever she's homophobic. she uses people of Racist. color she hates mm-hmm. gay people she th- says she's no. woke she hates James Charles. This and then, but you you tweeted this. You said, and I quote, Mikey is a homophobic bitch. Yep. That's the lowest type of scum on the internet. Yep. She mocked mental illness before, so no surprise. Stupid. Yeah. Let's cancel these fakes. Those who seem yeah. most perfect and PC are the evil rats behind closed doors. I feel like you've said that about me, to be fair. For sure not you. No, no, no. Because here's the I thing. I feel like you've said something very that. similar. You're very open about being kind of like not perfect, not PC. Like, So I'm not about canceling people that can like take accountability, grow, learn, blah, blah, blah. First of all, this girl is not young, so she's old enough to know better. But two, the fact that she's so high and mighty, her and Anthony, they don't have to apologize for shit. And you know what? I'm going to back it. Like, this girl might not want me to back her, the soup girl. She's like, Trish, please, you're the last person because i know when i come to people's defense like trish you've also done and i'm not i'm the first to say like yeah i've done horrible shit on the internet like i'm the first to say it but i'm also gonna keep calling people other people out and holding accountability i think i've grown since people called me out so i will call out people too mm. and this bitch i think should be canceled because she's actually homophobic and evil like the girl the, this best friend released these private text messages right mm-hmm. everyone was so scared jeffrey was gonna release like tati's like he's gonna release all the receipts on us <laughs> if you're a racist homophobic person behind closed doors you should be exposed what i'm never scared jeffrey's gonna release things because guess what i'm not a fucking homophobic homophobic bitch and behind like i'm not texting people like oh they get shit because they're you know gay. what my golden rule is on the internet is don't say anything behind closed doors that you wouldn't say publicly or yeah or why are they saying this anyways behind closed doors like there's never a time where i'm just like just trashing people oh they get shit before because they're gay or I'm it's so hard back to be up. white dan's adjusting the camera because i'm sitting like a maniac oh. we'll, sit back up. <laughs> well you can sit like that yeah. um yeah, she- so do you? I kind of want to look at specifically what she said, or is yeah. that too is that too deep? No, we can go. But on. do you not just hate her because she's dating? No, Anthony? absolutely not. Because at first, then she rolled her eyes at me, being like, "Oh my god, this girl thinks she has a mental illness." Which, by the way, fuck you, bitch. And I'm gonna say it again. I said this to Anthony. I'll say it to Mikey. You guys don't know my mental fucking health. Like, are you like how? She's like, oh my god, she's making a video about this. Hi, Mikey. You're texting people behind closed doors, making fun of Gabby Hanna's belly button, saying, oh, you have it so hard because you're white. Her you're- belly button? Yeah, she literally texted something about Gabby Hanna being like, look at this. Like, I hate Gabby Hanna too. Like, I actually hate that girl because she lied on me. But I would never just, in my free time, What'd she say about her belly button? Screenshot. And she goes, wow, look at this bitch's belly button. Like, where is it? What's wrong with her belly button? I mean, I don't know. Let it me looks- get a picture of her belly button. <laughs> no. Well, I'm just curious if, I mean, like, how incredible must it be to comment? I've never commented on someone's <laughs> belly button. Dang. And Gabby has a lot of ugly characteristics inside. You don't have to go for her ugly characteristics on the outside. You know what I mean? And I would never be that hateful just, like, casually on my couch. I feel like she would hear you say that and be like, thank you. She's like, thank you. Are you being serious? You no, I'm being serious. Yeah, like, don't go for that. Right, let's like, see her belly blows. button. Oh, that's the picture she sent. That's the one Mikey sent to the girl oh. in the group chat. Oh, it's like, it is. I mean, it's, she's got a, she's very fit. I've got no comment. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, she's fine. What? What would you say? You wanted to say something. Look, I really don't look at people's appearances. Like, that's not my particular taste of, you know, attractive, but that's fine. A lot of people don't find me attractive, whatever. But I would never just sit on my couch and text you, look at this girl's fucked up belly button. Like, that, all right. But that's not the worst thing she said. Trust me. There's like a whole lot of things. It looks fine. I think she like photoshopped it. I don't know. Yeah, that looks photoshopped. (laughs) I think she just like erased her belly button. It looks crazy, like her (laughs) hips. But at the same time that Mikey's texting this to her friend, she's collabing with Gabby and like being like turning into Gabby Hanna and she's collabing with James Charles and she's collabing with Jeffree Star. So the one that got me is that she did a collab video with James Charles, who is, by the way, enemy of the people. Except the TikTokers, Charlie and... No, 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 no. Oh. He is the enemy of the people now, James Charles. Enemy number one. Enemy number one. I'm happy to collab with you, James. that being said, would you really? Sure. Yeah, you like him. He unfollowed you, though, didn't he? Or he trashed you. Yeah. (laughs) No, I think he's just like, everybody she knows. Yeah, everybody I know. Bitch. Well, anyway. I love you, James. I can't come for him. I, do I feel- love you, James. Don't hate me because I'm <laughs> friends with Uncle Fester. 
<laughs> you do look so cool. I think. Okay. Anyways. So so he was tech. He she did a collab with James Charles, mm-hmm. and at the same time, <laughs> she was texting this girl Woosh about what a douche he is. Swoop. Swoop. <laughs> yes. Woosh. Swoop. Whatever. <laughs> I love Sue, by the way. I love her. I've seen her out and about. I didn't know how calming her voice was. I really like her. But but wow. Am I right, people? <laughs> Who does that? No, but seriously, though, that is. No, but the thing she said, it just was like hateful. The thing she said. It's not one thing to be like, yeah, we hate James. He thinks he's so much better than people. She's like, oh, he's popular because he's gay. Oh, yeah. That was another thing. Like, she was like. Her Why and Jeffrey. Yeah. They're like, it's because they're gay and I'm straight and white and this is not fair. She said it to her friend, the swoop who, who is, I believe she's African-American. Um, she uh, Half black. Is she half black? Okay. So she was saying she was out to dinner with all them and they were like literally saying like, oh my God, it's like so hard to be white. Like, who like complains about that ever? But also in like this day and age of like Black Lives Matter, it's like who complains about that? Like what a crazy bitch. That's, she doesn't well, I believe what she, Well, what she said, I think you're taking it to the extreme. Okay, tell What me. she said, if I recall, was that... Isn't it weird? Isn't it funny how the two biggest graders in the makeup scene are gay men? That's what she said. Okay, but then there was other texts about her to the, her friend Swoop saying like, hey, like basically telling Swoop the only reason she's getting ahead of her is because Mikey is white. You don't watch the full thing because she no, goes no, into details. No, of course not. It's an hour long. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so then she goes into details about how she constantly was like telling her like, oh, it's because like you're a minority and I'm white. That's why like I'm not getting these things like. It was just crazy. I was like the most insane things that I've ever heard. And then also to be like. It just feels kind of dumb, the whole thing. I'm sorry. Two of the biggest social justice warriors are, are, are allowed to get away with this because what? They're white and straight. That's literally her whole point is people will be like, it's fine. We forgive her. Forgive her for what? For being an actual racist homophobe in a private text well, message. Like you're actually racist. It's not jokes. It's not, you know, like stuff that you got canceled for. Well, you're Arcane inferring or a lot. We're like you're jokes. inferring a lot. No, these are text messages. There's no. Because she said, isn't it funny how the two biggest uh, beauty people are gay men? Which sounds bad, but it wasn't. No, there was more text than just that about them being gay. Pull it up, Dan. There was a time. Whatever that means. No, the hour-long video is like. I'm not going to watch an hour. If she really cared, she would have made it 15 minutes. (laughs) No, but basically then when this girl, Swoop, had a sexual assault thing about her, she posted it on social media. Now, she tried to text Mikey for seven months. Mikey never responded. And then she finally made a a thing saying like, hey, I was sexually assaulted. So Mikey tries to get on that bandwagon because, of course, her and Anthony have to get on every fucking social justice warrior bandwagon. That's true. She's like, hey, girl, can I retweet your story about sexual assault? Like just trying to get. Retweet? Yeah. (laughs) I don't need my permission for that. (laughs) Retweet me. So then the girl was pissed, and I rightfully so. She goes, "You fake bitch! Like you're really gonna be like now that I have like a sexual assault case? Like you're now you're gonna white pony me? What? So Anthony can do another series? I sat down with a sexual assault victim. Like I'm sure that was like the thing, huh? What's a white pony? Did I say white pony? I don't know what I just. I only said white pony. Oh, you just saying shit? I thought you knew what you were saying. (laughs) I was like, wow, what's a white pony? I've never heard that. I thought it was like a white elephant or something. (laughs) A white horse. What's a white horse? Coming in on a white horse, like a oh yeah, you were way off. (laughs) A white pony? <laughs> the fuck's that? <laughs> Coming in on your white pony to save the day. <laughs> oh, just go watch Shoop's video because honestly, like, just all the shit she's done, like, it's it's just constant gaslighting, manipulation, just being like, hey, was that about me? And then having her manager text, is that about Lauren? Like, if you think it's about you, then you are you have, like, what are the shit? If you have skeletons in your closet, like, you know, all the shit like that. Like, make sure the maids aren't coming. You know, that's b- bullshit. Like, it's, like, it's so fucked up. And, like, the fact that you don't care is the reason Anthony and Mikey get passes because they're straight and they're white and they're like, whatever. Nobody cares about them that much so they get a free pass. Yeah, nobody cares about them. They're forgettable as fuck. You definitely Bye. just hate them because they trashed you, though. Not at all. Because people trash me all the time. No, but they me. got they got really under your skin. No, you know why? Anthony. Because it was a personal thing. Like, I literally had tried to kill myself like three times last year and I did not know how I did that. that By the way, I me. thought you might want to apologize after we did an episode like two no. weeks ago where you started crying and everyone in the comments was like, wow, I feel like I really no, got it so inside. My, and my, I feel like maybe he'll actually apologize no. for because, Mm-mm. you know, a lot of people are like, wow, no, that really affected He doesn't care. He actually doesn't care. He just does this to get the views. And my bet is him and Mikey are going to break up because he's so fucking vain and like, oh, you oh, think no. he'll leave her? Oh, for sure. That'd be kind of For epic. sure. Because they're if both he's like, but he's like, He's like, batch, he's my batch, I'll say that. Batch. Batch, you are, you are not woke like I thought oh, you yeah. were. Oh, yeah. You're bad. But neither is he. He doesn't give a fuck. He's fake as fuck. And everyone I know, I'll use the same James Charles. Everybody I know has a problem with him, too, because he's fake. 
Okay, whatever. And I love when fake people. No, not whatever. We have to keep going for them. Mikey should be canceled. I mean, what more is to say? I mean, you've been talking on Mikey and Logan Paul should be the only two people who should be canceled. Everyone else should be held accountable. Even David Dobrik, who I like, whatever. I don't really like him, but he should be held accountable, not canceled. Logan Paul, what did Mikey David should Dobrik do? Oh, he's done a bunch of racist stuff, and he never once really? got called out for. It. Oh my god, he did blackface with peanut butter. Him and Zayn, they did blackface. They did a bunch of Indian jokes, peanut butter, Asian jokes, one ding dong ding, like that kind of shit. They done so. He did an underage joke too. He did one about like so saying what? a five year old was cute. No, I get it, but if you're gonna hold one person accountable, they straight up cancel chain off the internet. If you're gonna cancel chain, at least hold David Dobrik fucking accountable. Don't give him a perfume and billboards and all this money for TikTok and his disposable shitty camera app. Like, hold everybody fucking accountable, not just because he's cute and young and straight. Whatever, I don't know, but wait. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to... Exactly. I'm not going to touch David Dobrik. I'll get fucking Nobody buried cares alive. About him. He literally doesn't even like post anymore, but YouTube's dead. I actually like David. I met him once. He was really nice. Yeah, of course. A sociopath is nice. Like, fucking Ted Bundy. You Ted think he's a sociopath? Nice. He can, maintains a lot of friendships. You think? Yeah. Why do you think? Because he has clout. Because you think people are all using Of course. It. Look at Jason. He's like, oh my God, anything for you, David. I'll fucking leave Trisha for you. I'll yeah, but you also hate you. Jason. They're, they're just users. They're just fake as fuck. I went, at the night I went to the hospital, they came, and then I never heard from either. Like, David never called me again. I spent two years with him, like, every single day filming mm. vlogs with him, and then just never contacted me to say, are you okay? Like, mm. hey, you tried to kill yourself. Like, are you, are you okay? Dan, you got <laughs> screenshots? You want to read some? Uh, I, That's so much. I, I, I haven't found a specific. <laughs> you haven't, yeah, it's a lot. It's too much. You got to edit that shit down. Yeah. I need it. Can she re-release this as 15 minutes? I think it will get you more views. You know who views. did that? Def Noodles. Check out Def Noodles' channel. He he recaps everything. I follow him on Twitter. Like He's him. got such goss good gossip. Yeah, Def Noodles is everything. I like following him on Twitter. He does a ton of videos on me, and I kind of like, he does a lot on Gabby too, and I hear for them. Sometimes he d he did a one of me, or he did. Did he do one of you? He did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He. I was like, I don't like that take, but I still like him. I was like, I don't like that take, bitch. You can say a bitch to a guy. I think. Because you're a guy. Okay, let me ask you something. We've talked about all this stuff, and I, I feel like this episode actually sucks. Oh, I love this episode. Because I would honestly just do this on my channel, but then I look petty if I just do it out of nowhere. But because we're on a podcast, we're talking about current topics, so it's like But I feel like in. if we talk about it, it's better if we have the receipts where we can read the... Well, there was receipts, and you don't want to read them. Well, I didn't know we were going to go like in on it, you know what I mean? <clears throat> There's a video. Do I look like Megan Fox? No, not even close. <laughs> like, literally not even close. <laughs> <laughs> she's so tiny she's like 80 pounds i love skinny people i'm like really obsessed with skinny people it's very weird okay okay so there's a i've heard there's a video of you on only fans of oh. you wrestling your sister topless mm -hmm. with your mom in the bed referee first of all we're not wrestling topless <laughs> we're in swimsuits we're in like red swimsuits why is oh. it on only fans though that seems kind of fucked yeah because i think it's more like well for money <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like so are you it. comfortable with people beating off to you and your whole family that seems odd. Yeah, why? I feel like that's a natural thing. <laughs> but I, I, I find it you. funny because you're like... I did an OnlyFans. You remember when I did that OnlyFans video with you guys in the background? Actually not. <laughs> I don't think I saw that, thank God. Okay, well, it's a thing. This podcast might not have been a thing <laughs> if I saw that. <laughs> it was great. I actually got a lot of people on it. Um, you criticized Elo's family because you're like, oh my God, my family accept me and they don't ask questions. And you're like, meanwhile, my family's doing OnlyFans with me. I mean, let's fucking. That means they're so open. I hate I think people. they're too open. Is it too open? No. Yes. No. People who critique, and I'm just going off on another different tangent here. Your unrelated. sister wrestled you in a bikini in jello for dudes to beat off while your mom refereed. Yeah. That's fucking weird. They're too open. Shaming sex workers. I'm not shaming sex workers. I just think it's weird that you're playing up incest with your family. Incest First of all, bars. not incest. Well, why do you think people are li like it? <laughs> incest is having sex with a family member. It's incest porn. No. You like, it's it's in the if you were to if you if we were to categorize this porn if yeah. you went in like Pornhub you're like hmm let me look up the category you're kink it would be under incest. Now you're kink shaming. Well, yeah, some kinks should be shamed. No, that's not. How about so like wrong. pedophilia? Can we kink shame pedophiles? That's not that's not a kink. That's Why? an actual crime. Age play is a kink. Pedo yeah, but that Incest is a crime. Okay, but that's not You can't fuck your sister, Trisha. I did It's illegal. Go to onlytrish.com if we're gonna talk about this. Don't onlytrish.com, 18 plus. You can get the video for the I next need, 72 hey, hours. You keep asking for a commission on the highlights. How about I get a piece of the only trish? Because you not giving me a commission on the freaking highlights. Yeah, give me a cut of your only trish. Onlytrish.com. I, I haven't promoted it, I haven't plugged it because I didn't think it was appropriate. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm going to. We're gonna talk about this and you're gonna fucking put that shit everywhere. We're gonna anyway, say onlytrish.com.
Your family's too open. You have no space to uh, criticize. I hate people who shame sex workers. It's disgusting. I'm not shaming you, sex workers. Yeah, you do. You're just as bad as Keemstar now. Keemstar shamed sex workers? Yeah, you guys are all awful. It's all middle-aged white men. I'm not sh I think it's weird that you're making incest porn with your family. It's like when we role play. If I'm like, hey, pretend I'm your sister. It's just a kink. Yeah, I'm but not, she is I'm, your sister. I'm talking about Moses and me. You guys can pretend you're siblings. What yeah, so that's... The, oh, that's fine. But she's your sister! First of all, we're not having sex. We're not even touching each other. You guys were wrestling, as I understood it. I didn't Do you want to jelly wrestle on my OnlyFans? No. What if I give you a cut of that? I think it would be funny if we you wrestled. You should do it! Because you would probably destroy me. <laughs> you would probably yeah, fuck. I don't think I could lift you off me. Yeah, I'm a great wrestler. We're probably in the same weight class. But no, With that's a hard no. Because it's not sexual, though. Oh, uh, no. I was trending last time I was here, too, for my OnlyFans because of the toilet paper in my ass. Dude, people actually... <laughs> wait, okay, yeah. Last week you were trending on Twitter because apparently you... So you had this picture on, where you pulled your... You're showing your asshole and there was toilet paper in your asshole. And I would think, wow, that's really disgusting and embarrassing. But you got more sign-ups as a result. Oh, my God. My OnlyFans is popping. I had to do, like, another toilet paper video. So last time we... People like that? People are so weird. Although, to be fair, I think the people on your OnlyFans are the fucking real purpose. No, they know it's clean, then. That's what people were saying. Like, I like seeing toilet paper because I know you wiped. Who doesn't wipe their ass? <laughs> Bidet users. Oh, so they prefer the wiper? <laughs> yeah. They're like, I like to see that. So you did another one where you had toilet paper in your ass? Yeah. Moses, did you take that photo? No. He's such a liar. Oh, <laughs> the Rolls Royce one you took. The, the one, original, the original one. one. I knew you took that. It was in the back alley of his house. Yeah, I, I, I was off. like, I guarantee you Moses took this photo. <laughs> yeah. What well, was a video, actually? And he said... <laughs> You're, I can't believe more people are going because you took that photo. He usually tells me he but he couldn't see it in the sun but usually he'll be like oh like just rinse because you have some like toilet paper because I, I do wipe a lot i just like wipe a lot i have a lot whatever i like wiping making sure i'm clean so he'll tell me but i said now you can't tell me if there's a toilet paper and they're like make sure there is toilet paper in there because that's like a thing now people like so Ugh, that is so foul dude. only dude, dot com toilet paper. that is so foul that you're that's so because disgusting. I clean my ass. No, because there's you're, no shit in it press hilton he zoomed in he's like she's waxed and she's clean what's the big problem I literally put like dildos up there to clean it out so there's never shit in there. It's the cleanest asshole Say you'll what? ever see. Yeah, I mean, you that's what everyone does. Like, you, gay guys do it. You clean with a dildo? That's what you do, yeah. Like, you put soap on it and shit? Oh, no, I just more like, like when I, after like douching it out, like putting the water up there, then you kind of like put the dildo in to like, s to see if it come, anything comes out. But nothing ever does. I'm clean. That's disgusting, especially with your diet. <laughs> I'm, so, you don't I'm trying shit. to eat better now. Oh. I'm trying to eat healthier. I need to eat healthier. I've been eating. Really? What did you eat today so far? Okay. Well, it was my TikTok. So I did my um, my Dunkin' Donuts and my Hebrew cereal. Gross. Yeah. All right. We're coming to the end here. What are you going to do for your anniversary this weekend? We're going to a hotel on Friday. Okay. That's good. Because when you guys said on your action anniversary, you just went to breakfast. I was like, that's your anniversary. No. Yeah. No. It, it, it's, it's just it's impossible because Theodore's young. And we don't have help on the weekend. Who's watching him? On Friday, we're going to bring him to my parents and the doggies. Do you want to bring him here to my house? Uh, why? So he can be in the background when you're famous asshole toilet paper shots? No. <laughs> I wouldn't do OnlyFans with him no. in the house. No, 100%. No. You don't trust his uncle? You're you're not even comfortable around him when he comes out. First of all, I love him. He's like the best part of this house. Like, that's the only reason I like coming is to see him because he's always so happy. He's smiling. Like, I love him. I trust him with, with his grandparents. How about his uncle and aunt? No, I don't. You don't want to trust Moses to watch him? I mean, I would trust Moses to watch him for a couple hours if we needed to go. Not overnight? Something. No. No. Wow. That's I don't think he's shocked by that. <laughs> okay, but yeah. it's so easy. I would watch a baby. Like, it's so easy. He would definitely, I would come back and he would be dead. That's so not true. <laughs> and when he you would say be that, with me. When, I say, when you say that, I was like, wow, you would definitely, he would be dead. How long are you gone for? Two nights? Yeah, just two nights. Okay, and what do you have planned? Room service. That's hot. I thought it was hot. I really love a room service. Just room service, and we're trying to um, have conceive. A baby? Yeah. <gasps> Did you? Oh, is that why you picked that weekend and not your anniversary weekend? Well, actually, she was. I do this. I she do was this. ovulating 
this she's like ovulating right now oh shit so you're gonna go back in this role play and be like hey Eli, right? yeah she what you really want to <laughs> fuck me you want to fuck uncle fester girl do you only have sex when you guys are ovulating i feel like that's you no you keep asking me all the time about <laughs> this I, shit i feel like you just say it to like save face like oh once a week but i feel like you only do it when you're she's ovulating which is i love it no no shit to that i get horny, hornier when i ovulate like i ovulated Gross. this weekend i was like can you just come inside me <laughs> disgusting don't Saturday. you fucking get her pregnant he did the day before and not day yet. after but not the day of you're on birth control no are you doing a condom nope you're getting fucking get her pregnant you <laughs> psycho do you understand what you're doing it would be a miracle because it is really hard for me to get pregnant oh like, right serious. right i forgot serious i mean it's not right i forgot I, I swear like my last relationship have you had fertility tests how do you know that yeah i did the hsg test which th mm. they, that's when they shoot i talk about this all the time they say they shoot that stuff in you see the neon stuff to see if it goes through and it's just like it's just i have some blockage so they can like scrape it off or whatever but i haven't done that yet but i mean it could go through I so mean, you're saying if i get pregnant it's an act of god no i don't think that i mean they said they're like oh you there's like you know you can get pregnant but it's just harder because your tubes are blocked right now but i was in a relationship for like two years and he came inside me every day for like six times and they never got pregnant so disgusting but moses thinks his sperm is like super sperm because he like is scared to do it on the day of so well i don't blame him you should <laughs> not you should take more precautions if you ask me no we're like down i feel so ew <laughs> no but like the day after the day after is pretty risky and the day before there's basically like a five-day window moses just to warn you no, he she doesn't she I doesn't explain him. to you she goes hey, oh I the day him. after is fine no you don't uh, there's like there's Do I not show you when I'm up? I even say I'm ovulating today. Like, please come inside. You guys like, I really want to have a baby already? Go ahead. Tell the truth. <laughs> Aw, isn't that sweet? Holy fuck. <laughs> It's everything. Could you imagine? I'm so excited. I just want to have a baby. I just really, I feel like that's my calling. Like, fuck everything else. Fuck this podcast. Bye. I'm going to have a baby now. Like, that would be me. No nannies. No offense, but you know what I mean? You would get a nanny. Definitely not. You would definitely get a nanny. I don't want the baby to, like, connect with someone else. Like, no, only connect with me. I don't even want to connect with the dad. I'm just like, connect with me oh, only. You hear that? She's not kidding. <laughs> That's a joke. Yeah. That's a joke, actually. Moses Are you going to leave her? Single mom? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, he thinks that. He really thinks I'm going to, like, kidnap the baby. You're like a black widow. You're going to eat him when you get pregnant. <laughs> is that a, a bad joke? I mean, a pregnant. Oh, my. Wait, is that a thing? Yeah, they eat the... They fuck and then they eat the male. <laughs> kind of everything. Kind of iconic. <laughs> yeah. You wow. That? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so anyway, that's about it. I I don't know. So we have an announcement in like three months. Be like, hey. I would tell you early. I would tell you early. Like the five week mark. I'd be like, oh, hey, pregnant. I know you're not supposed to. but I'm, I like I'm trying like... to think of this as I'm, I'm really trying to be honest with like. If you guys got pregnant. I think you would both be really good parents, but I don't think Aww. this relationship would work out. If we had a baby? Yeah. Okay, if we didn't have a baby, you think it would work out? Not forever. Just being honest. Why? Tell me. I'm curious. Because I, because I don't know. I mean, it seems like you have trouble... Well, you both have trouble with commitment, <laughs> to be frank. So may, I don't know, but but like you, True, you, you have a track record of not going the long run. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with you guys personally. I mean, you guys, I gotta be honest, you guys are really happy. You're mm -hmm. really good together. You're very cute, and you seem very sincere, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying the track record is agree, that yeah. that you have trouble in the long I run. I say that all the time to him. I get scared about that. And I think you're someone who gets bored easily. Yes. And also, you're someone who's kind of like, like self-admittedly, you're kind of like a, a sex addict. Uh -huh. And so you may get bored of sleeping with one guy. That's not true. I'm actually one. like, I actually like a break. Like when we have my period. You like a break. Now I do. Because we have sex too much. But you guys have, exactly. But you guys have only been dating. You're still new. I'm saying a break from sex. After Sometimes two I'm like, years, oh, you, might, you might want a new dick. No, that's not true. I think just in general, I push people away. And like that, I think that's a thing I do. Um, but I don't think it would happen with Moses. He's pretty good. Like sometimes I try and push him away and he's like still here, you know? So now I'm like, oh, this is a good one. I think yeah. I push people away because of me, not because of them. I'm just like, oh, I feel like this person's gonna like break my heart. But I feel like, I feel, and also with a baby, for me, I even tell him this, like I would have a baby just on my own, like without a guy, you know what I mean? Like I just want to be like a mom. I'd have like six kids, like Perez Hilton. I would just like, uh, like ha have someone carry my baby or I'll carry it or whatever, get a sperm donor. And, um, so I think I just want kids. But, I mean, also, like, I don't know. But, yeah, but that's too much commitment to be, like, forever, you know? I don't want anyone else. And it's so hard dating. And I hate being alone. But the baby, yeah. And we have a baby I, together, so it's different. I don't know. I know what you mean. I think I should wait on the baby, though. Well, I can't wait much longer. Because <laughs> I'm going to have like a baby year. regardless. Like, well, you're pretty young. How old are you? You're, like, 32? Yeah, you're young. 
but I already have problems with fertility. Like it's already hard for me to get pregnant. And so that's why I was like, oh fuck. And like the older you get. So like regardless, let's say me and Moses broke up today. I would like literally go to a sperm donor and get like sperm. You know what I mean? Like I actually get like, yeah. Hmm. I've done it before. I, I went through fertility treatments before when I was single. So I just want to make Your family's going to trip when they hear this now. They've accepted the house me was now. bad enough. The baby, oh brother! They've accepted me now. They said that they're happy yeah. in a relationship. That's awesome. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. How's the house shopping going? We won't know till the 15th of October because my taxes get filed on the 15th, so they need my personal taxes from 2019. Oh, right. But I think it's. I think it'll be good because the guy you gave us is so boring for the podcast. But the guy you gave us, I think. Um, I think he's like he's optimistic. We told him our hurdles, and he's like optimistic. Yeah, he's it. good. He's the real deal. And I feel like it's gonna be good. Like I feel, although, yeah. Cool. Um, we'll see. I mean, hopefully. Wait, but if we have a house, I mean, that's like a bigger commitment than a baby. Wow, you're fucking <laughs> really. That's the. That's such a dumb thing to say. You serious? I mean, it's harder to like split. Wow, you're not ready for kids. <laughs> I think I. You're not ready for five kids. I want at least three. Having a house is more of a commitment. Yeah, I feel like financially, it's a card. Like, who's going to leave? Like, who's going to be kicked out? I guess the man usually gets kicked out. Do you know what it's like to share custody with a child? I do. I had divorced parents. You think that's easy? Easier than a house? Uh, Yeah, for sure. I think they didn't want to give up the house more than they didn't care about giving us up. That explains <laughs> all this. <laughs> hey, I turned out fine. You know, having two Christmases, two birthdays ain't a bad thing. You saying turned out fine. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look who's talking. <laughs> hey, I would never you say I turned out fine. the most dysfunctional family. I literally would never say I turned out fine, even though I did. I turned out okay. I'm no, functional. Just because you make money doesn't but, mean but you're, you're okay. way crazier than That's me. That's so not true. No, but you're way crazier than me. That's not true. Bro, that's objectively true. You're, you hide it more, just like Mikey, who hides shit. Oh, really? It all gets brought to the surface I don't hide later anything. On. I literally don't. You've literally just said how honest I am, and you respect that about but me. But you hide the crazy is what I'm saying. Yeah, you, you I don't share hide. a lot. I don't hide. You do hide the crazy. I'm all out there with no fucking eyebrows and everything. You were into pills. You never talk about that, that you were a pill addict for a minute. What? Yeah, you said that. You said you were really into pills and you don't talk about that. Why do I need to talk about that? Because that's being open. That You're judging me for being crazy, taking pills or whatever. Like I take out pills or whatever. But you've done it too and you're just not open about it. I don't think that that is a defining characteristic of who I am. I, I think that is a it. big thing. That makes sense. Why? Because you're on medication now and there's no shame or judgment in it. But like, hey, if you're going to shame me for being off meds, you should say, hey, I'm on meds. I'm not shaming you for being off meds. Mm, that's what it sounds like. Just you just call me crazy, crazy but here's which what you means do. I'm off You know what medication. you just did? You, you're trying to see. This is why you are such a dangerous person, especially to be close with, because you'll <laughs> take something that I've told you. In, you'll take something that somebody told you in confidence, and you'll use it. You'll weaponize it against them. That's that, not true. That's what you just did. No, I, and luckily no, for you, I don't no, care, and I'm okay no. with it. But you go, oh well, you're. I told you an anecdote about how I used to take like what's like okay. tramadol back in Israel. When I was like bored in a dead end job, and you literally just weaponized I that didn't. against me. You called me crazy, knowing my history. Bro, you we call always me crazy. call you crazy. You're okay. like upfront but crazy. But if you're gonna call me crazy, then I'm gonna say, yeah, hey, why don't you, you own up you, to what you've done? That's that also doesn't make crazy. Me crazy. Okay, I'm joking around, and then you go, okay, so what? What do I have no. to weaponize against Ethan? Oh, he oh. told me he used to take bills in Israel. I don't no. think he's ever said that. So I'm here, not. I'm going to drop oh. that on him. You want me to weaponize you? Because I have things I can actually weaponize you this with is what and I'm I don't. About. No, but I don't do it. There's certain you things. just did it. Moses knows there's certain things about him I would and never say. And you just say. threatened me with doing it more. That's because why you're you so are. dangerous. You can't do that. No, I didn't. Because you do I that to everybody. I know personal things about you, and do I say it? No. You literally just did. That's not that personal because you just call me crazy being off my medication. So therefore, I I'm didn't say anything you about being said, off your medicine. And then you asked me. How I come, literally didn't mention no, being off your medicine. Then you asked me. I said, you're crazier you said, than me. Oh, I said, I said, you're not open and honest about everything. You're like, yes, I am. Open. I'm like, are you though? And then you were pushing. It's not that pushing. I'm hiding that I took pills. It's just you used Ethan, it. You it's not a care. Push ca somebody to the level of like saying this, this and this. And then I'll also be like, now you're weaponizing me. You push and push and push constantly. Nah, you're you fucked do. up. You're fucked up. You're the pusher and the gas. I'd be like, oh my god, how could you say that about me? Meanwhile, this whole time being like, I'm not you're saying, crazy, you're fat, I'm you're this, you're this. Oh, we're just joking, but then you go to another level. No, everything I'm talking about is on the table, right? Okay, mine's on the table too. Mine, everything no. we always talk about. So, but you're like, okay, what do, what can I no. use to, to really hit him right no, now? No, that's, that's, that's what you do. Fucking gaslighting one, bro. I'm not gaslighting. Yes, this is what you do like, to people. No, 
I'm just telling After you. you just push and push and push. I don't, I'm not pushing. You, do. you do. You push so hard. You get that for everything. We're goofing everything around. It's all right, here. I'm not like. Crazy is goofing around? That is so offensive. Okay. I, I mean, I've called you crazy a lot. I don't know that it's offense, uh, so offensive to you. In this situation, yes. Okay, but so like, don't come it, for me saying I'm weaponizing the, then, you when you push but me. But then say, you know what? I don't appreciate you calling me crazy instead. Call of me crazy. I'll I'll, I'll tell you everything. It's not. What, do I but, weaponize myself? But so why should I? Why I should weaponize I, myself by being like? Why hey, should guess anybody what? ever confide in you? I'm not saying you should. I never said you're off you your meds. You didn't confide in me. You're not like, hey, I gotta tell you something real serious. You're like, oh yeah, and pills God are fun. God forbid anyone ever does that. So rude. Well, you know what? No, it's not. Your life is sad and pathetic, and mine is happy, thriving. So good. Mine luck. is not Have sad. fun on How? your beach weekend, eating room service, trying to get pregnant. Have fun with that. That doesn't sound sad and pathetic. Mm. That sounds like a good family life. Like I have good, fulfilling, and good, deep roots with a wife that I've been married to for a long time. I've got a family that mm. we're trying to build, mm. and I've got stability in my life. There's something right there I could weaponize, but I'm not going to. You know why? Because you push and push, and I'm not going to push on your buttons the way you push on other people's buttons. I wouldn't even say, oh, there's something I could weaponize. I wouldn't even say that. Because you're saying I weaponize, and I don't. There's a perfect time to go in there and be like, actually, this. Well, because obviously you have, I don't know what you're thinking about, but like. And I don't consider weaponizing. I'm very open about everything. If someone brings up something that I don't want people to bring up with, I'll openly talk about it. Fine, whatever. That's just fucking me. Like, I don't care. I'll talk about it. It's not weaponizing just because I bring something up. It definitely. I'm just being. I'm just trying like, to tell you of no. something you do. I'm just trying to be honest that I think you have well, this issue. Well, you're wrong on this one. Sorry. But why do you think that like all your friendships, like a lot of your friendships, go I've to had shit. friends for so many and years, and all of your boyfriends and relationships. That's what I'm worried boyfriends about. Moses different. is that she's got a rolodex of all this shit on you, and that and then when shit goes wrong, she's going to try to ruin shit your fucking has gone life. Wrong, and I don't expose stuff I know. Like, well, like, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Well, you did accuse him of fucking kind of flirting with underage girls. No, that wasn't it. That was not. Well, that was kind of this. fucked up. No, we. You're like, oh, I had a fight. I'm gonna accuse him of being with underage First girls. First, I'm not accusing him of anything. The I'm DMs just... were out there. They were publicly put out there. Yeah, all they, the DMs. Yeah, they were. They were posted by your alt account, and it had like three likes. <laughs> we know that that wasn't. It literally me. had it's three likes. Confirmed. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> conf not confirmed by me. I'm just saying it's not cool to be like, oh, well, you're addicted to pills. And I've had friends for a very long time. I have friendships that have lasted well over 10 years, and I'm still friends with Andrew, Jeffrey Michael, Sarge Shane. Jeffrey Sargent you. I'm Jeffrey I've been friends with care. for like a year I'm and a half. Oh, that's kidding. See, that would also be considered, oh, that's weaponizing I was against me, but now it's a joke because why well, you're a You're the one that told me oh, he I'm unfollowed you. It's funny. Anything you say, those are jokes. Those are jokes. It's like, all on the table. Weaponize. This is how guys do it with girls. Oh, my God. You that weaponize, pill but story I told you wasn't on the table. Okay, but that's not weaponizing. You, talk, uh, you Yes, talk about it stuff. is. Oh, oh, really? You talk about stuff all the time that's like, what about when you push and push, push, push me to show you how much I made on that video? You're like, you do this, you do this. You were fucking being an it's asshole. It's all on the table, it's though. It's not all on the table. You forced me. You were literally like, get your phone out fucking now. Do this right now. Like You, you, were so you never told me aggressive. no. You... I did. I said, please don't. Please edit this out. It's on the podcast. I was like begging. There was like tears in my eyes. I'm like, please edit this out because like I really didn't know. Well, so that's me being an asshole, but it's all on the table. It's not. Okay, you weaponized it, whatever. It's not well, on you the table. Were, you thought you pushing someone to do something they're not comfortable with. That's mm -hmm. what. That's worse. That's fucking way worse. I'm not saying I'm insane at it or at or all, but I, you are I'll, you're I'll awful. Yeah. You are awful. Yeah. You got I better. Am. I am awful. But I'm just saying right. you weaponize you people you... and push people, like pushing people to do stuff they don't want to do. And you've done it multiple times on multiple shows, and it's just not cool. I mean, that's why people get so annoyed with you when you interview people, which is probably why we don't have guests on this show because people don't want to be guests on by this you. show or your H3 show anymore. People just don't want. to I have be guests fucking... all every week. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Oh wow, they're really killing it. Who was like I don't even know the doctor with coronavirus, like good guests. That was like, like five months ago. Okay, well I don't even watch your thing. But I'm just saying, like, all the guests you get, mm -hmm. you, they're not, Bill Burr's not coming on, Bo Burnham's not coming on, Chris Aaliyah's not coming on, you know what I'm saying? You're getting people that no one knows. Oh, Jack's Films again? Great. Good job. Good guest. Just to get Jack's all your Film friends. I-dubs. Wow. Good job. You know what I mean? I'm not, like, I don't need to defend the, our guest track record, but I feel like we've had some bangers lately. Have you, though? Sure. Okay. Well, let's you look that up. You Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Whitney Cummings was just posted when you came on. Is she acceptable to you? Yeah, Whitney's fine. Okay. Good job having a girl on. Today. That's the other thing. You're very misogynistic. And you'll Tom Segura and Christi Christina no P. No idea who they are. How many Christina views Christina P. No idea. How many views? Andrew Santino. I don't think people know who these people are, but hey. Famous comedians. Cool. Don't know any of them. Um, Steve-O. Mm, also misogynistic, but okay, keep going. Bobby Lee. Mm. And Kalila, another female. Mm -hmm. We've got some really good guests coming up, too. Here, I'll wow. promo them right now. Okay, promo that. I hope it gets some some more views to the H3 podcast. Oh, you know, I 
here, just for you, I'm going to premiere. I'm just going to give this away for you right now. Belle Delphine is going to be on in the 29th. Wow. Holy shit. How'd you get her? Exactly. Wow. So fucking eat out my asshole. unboxing her stuff is real great. You can get a million views on that. Eat out my asshole. It doesn't even have toilet paper in it. Oh, okay. So you got Belle Delphine when you unbox stuff. No one even cared. It didn't even get a million views. So wow. Big guess. Yeah, that's dead and done. Just like James Charles, you're just trying to beat But my life isn't about views. It literally is about views. All you care about is like working, doing this. Making You're money. literally projecting on me. You call me money hungry, and it's like literally all you do is just obsess over money. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying that. See, I hate when people that's fucking weaponizing when people throw it back on me. I'm not saying I'm a perfect person. If I call someone out for being racist, doesn't mean I haven't said racist things in my past. It's also just being like, hey, you're also I'm holding a fucking mirror up to you. No, that's not true. That is 100% true. Okay, whatever. You, you. It's not projecting. Like I'm not saying, hey, I, I love money too. Fuck yeah, fuck give me money. But like. It's not just say, because you love money doesn't mean that you have insight you to every so single person. Hungry. You so are. No, I'm not. When we were going to be 50 50 on the show originally. Okay, here's weaponizing saying stuff that's not. Dude, on the I table. gave you the most then generous you, fucking you came deal. Back five Go ahead. Later and said, actually, 45 out of 45, yeah. 55. And yeah. I was like, and you said to pay everyone. Okay, cool. I get that. Cool. But then to be like, and I'm just going to keep all the highlights for, for costs or whatever. Okay. Yeah. How about what like just recoup. we spent fifty thousand dollars on this set recoup we have it. a full set of guys that are working so that's all around the clock of our podcast and i literally and i and you get 45 percent. that seems like a great fucking deal and zero of the highlights the like, highlights is nothing i don't dude. care it's I'm just, just saying... it's just really annoying to crunch the okay, numbers for a couple time. hundred bucks mm -hmm. over time it's gonna get money and it's just like hey it's fine i don't care but don't say i'm money i'm money hungry i couldn't care less like i'm like whatever i would do this for free so you're not fine. money hungry now Huh? I like money. I like money. I'm not money hungry. I don't. I'm okay, not whatever. This is a stupid conversation. I'm just. I all I'm trying to do is give you an important insight to, th this to whole something episode, to do. You constantly be like, move on. We're not talking about that. This is stupid. Like, how come you get to dictate what's stupid and what's not and what's worthy of a conversation? And if what's you not? want to talk about and something, you, bring a conversation. Fine. I don't care. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I'm saying, but this is what you do to your guests on the if you podcast, want which to is why it's dying, which is why no one's coming back on, which is why you don't get repeat guests. Who's the guy that was so offended when you were on? So he was so uncomfortable. I forgot his name. We watched it, and he was so uncomfortable. It's like, what are you doing? Like, what's happening right Ooh. now? I forget the guy's name. Eric, uh, Eric something. Eric Andre. I don't know. Eric, Eric. Eric Andre. Is that his name? You don't even know who Eric Andre is? No, I don't know. But he looked very uncomfortable. I watched it. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, why were you being well, so fucking like, you know what I mean? And it's like, that's why people don't come back. Because you have this way of just pushing people. People always and come back. Weird. Bill Burr was on twice, by the way. Did you know that? Did not see the second episode. Well, it was great. It's good. I hope it was better see? the second time around. It was. But I'm just saying, in general, that's why no one comes back. Like it's People like, always come back. Mm. Literally, we regularly have people back. Jack's Films. Good job. Jack's Films has been on the episode. He's the worst, by the way. So I'm Why? Gonna... He's really nice. He's not. He was an asshole to me on the Shane Dawson music Well, video maybe he should have been. Before I was, huh? Maybe he was right. Maybe I he saw something. No. He's... He's the most problematic, and he. I, this, what? Jack's film is not. No, I gotta I'll, stop you there. No, see, this is what I'm saying. I stop you Go there. He's trying to silence me. But here's the thing: just like Mikey, oh, we're all woke and we're all PC. He's not woke. Mm. I'm not saying he's woke, but he has a lot of skeletons in his closet. No, he doesn't. And that's not me weaponizing. That's just me saying I know. No, but like you did the pill anecdote. That was you. That trying was to not. Oh my yes, god! But that okay. So what? What do you call what you did to me when you push and push and push? When I say I'm not comfortable with something like, hey, well, I'm you not could accuse with me of being an asshole. That's not being an asshole. Like pushing someone when they say I'm uncomfortable. That's well, not like, weaponizing private info. That is. That totally is. Okay, because you whatever. have the power of the show. I can't explain something obvious. Mm, okay. Is, was, my only question to you is, um, what? who won World War II? Who won World War II? Was it the Allies this or the, the Axis? This is the last episode. Was it the Ta Allies or the Axis? Who won World War II? I'm quitting this episode. I'm quitting. You can, put, you can literally title this last episode. I'm over it. Did the Nazis win or lose World War II? I'm over this. I'm so over this, and yo, I really am like 100% done with the show. So this is it? Yeah. So you I'm can renegotiate my terms, and maybe I'll come back, but that's it. Renegotiate? You yeah. already have max terms. You're maxed out. No, I don't think so. After this today, I'm renegotiating. You want to give me 25000 for the set? No. So what do you want? Because I didn't have a say in the set. I didn't have a say in how it was like built or anything. I had my set designers, and like, oh, they're not available. I, I tried to reach them. Hmm. Hmm. All right, whatever. Well, good luck with this channel. It's doing great. Is it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's doing fine. Okay. Cool. I'm not the first to admit when mine's dying. Don't turn around and be like, what's your views? Because I'm the first to admit my channel's dying. My channel's not dying. Oh, okay. Cool. Love it. Doing better than ever? Yeah, actually. Well, we're posting more frequently, but the views right. are up. It's doing really good. Amazing. 
happy for you. But you're trying. See, what you're trying is to upset me, but it's not I'm not. Working. I said good for you. If you think it's doing better, no, you're then being I'm glad sarcastic. for you. I'm not. I think that's amazing. If it's doing good for you, then really congrats. <laughs> yeah, I can see why your relationships don't work out. I can see why you've been with the same person for 12 years. Thank you. You have no other options, and quite frankly, I don't blame you. I have no... Wow, that's a really... So... Why would I want other options? Mm. I'm perfectly content. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, I, I could be mean them. like you, but I'm not going to. Anything else we should discuss? Damn, this went off the fucking rails. Mm. Wow, well, Uncle Fester and whatever this shit you threw together uh -huh. is. Oh my god, mine's more iconic. We'll see by the TikTok views. Should we make up or are we hating? I'm stuff? literally over it. I'm so over it. Really? I don't even care if Moses breaks up with me over this. Bye. Why would Moses break up over a podcast? Because I don't like his family. And I don't like hanging out with you guys. And you guys are awful. And that's it. And yeah, I said it. <laughs> but you liked me when we started. No, I was trying to be nice and fun. But I actually don't really care that much for you. Really? You never liked me? Nope. I Fake. Can't oh. You're the next to be canceled. You're really upset. No. I'm not. I'm fine. So have fun. Good luck on the baby making. Thank you. Mm. I feel that you're really upset. Oh. I'm good. Hmm. Mm. You're shutting down. No, I'm good. What else do you want to talk about? Let's talk. Should we resolve this issue? No, I'm over it. it. I'm so over it. I'm you just so said let's talk. It. I'm not doing the next episode for real. I'm over it. You just said let's talk. Because you said, oh, you're shutting down. I'm like, I'll talk to you. Talk. You got me for 10 more minutes. <laughs> nah, well, we're over. We're over time. Look, yeah. it's too far. This episode went 20 minutes too long. Oh, some good content there, too. Hmm. Hmm. Anything else? That's it. Moses, do you want to have anything to say? Good time, please. End it. Moses is warning me. Well, just because I'm quitting this show, don't fire Moses because of me. Why would I fire Moses because of you? I don't know. People be doing that. You overestimate your influence. Oh, I know how you guys are with him. Oh, my God. Trisha did this. Oh, my God. Trisha did that. Are, are, are we should be scared of Trisha? It's like. I've never said anything like mm -hmm. that. To him. I've seen your group chats. I literally see his phone. Well, you bragging about looking through his phone isn't exactly the best look. I'm not bragging about it. I'm stating something because once again, I'm well, open. Well, I've never said anything like that. To him. I'm open about it. Like, yeah, I'm not a perfect person. I'm a crazy person sometimes. Like, whatever. I'm open about it. I'm sorry for calling you crazy. I know That's this has went off the rails. Yeah, I apologize. I don't apologize for anything I said about you. That's okay. And I'll say it again. It's fine, but I know that this went off the rails. I know you I have issues you. because of your family, and I get it, and I understand that, and I'm sympathetic to it. So my apologies, but that's it. But I, I can tell that when I said that, it upset you. And I was sincerely, I thought we were goofing around because... Well, you look unhappy in life, so I really hope you feel no. better. I know it came from a place that you're Wait, I wanna, miserable. I, I know... Yeah, I know you are. Because I, I, I thought I, I thought we miserable. were I thought we were goofing on each other mm. kind of thing, but but I genuinely mm. I I'm sorry for saying that. I'm I'm try, I'm genuine. Okay. And um, I'm like literally gonna leave though. Like once this is over. No, I know. So I'm trying. I just want to. Okay. I'm trying to resolve this because the more we talk about it, the worse it's gonna be. Like good luck. Honestly, good luck. Thanks for having me on five episodes. Love it. It was so much fun. And I'm over it. Good luck. And I'm sorry about your family situation. I'm sorry about your situation. No, I my, you're miserable. my no, it's you not are. True. I can tell. I can tell. And it's sadness. And I see you when I was around your family that you have sadness in you, and it's sad. Okay. And that's why you're so mean to people on the internet, and I get it. But also, don't take it out on people and call them crazy and shit. No, I apologize. Okay, cool. Great. That's a wrap. I think, I do think you're a good person, mm -hmm. and I and I am sorry for mm -hmm. calling you crazy. Cool. I'll weaponize you later then. On my okay. channel. Can't all wait right. for the weaponizing. Everyone comes to me because I'm crazy and I weaponize against people. Like, it's all me. I never get provoked. Yeah. No, I, c I can see why 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 I provoked you because mm -hmm. I can be, like, mm -hmm. asshole-ish. It's not asshole. It's, like, literally, like, pushing someone to do something when they're uncomfortable. That's, like, literally, like, it's an attack. I mean, that's literally, like, awful. But right. anyways. Right. All okay. right. Cool. Okay. Well. Well. Yeah. Hey, Alfredo. Mm. Cool. Well, we're going out on a high note here, folks. All for your viewing pleasure. Just wire me for this later, and we'll talk never. I will wire you the money that I owe you, mm -hmm. and I will wish you well. Because I've always wished you well. And I can tell you are so you hate me so much right now, but I don't hate you. Cool. I know. I like I, you still. Mm. My feelings didn't change for you. Cool. Love it. 
there's no way to calm you down. I feel I'm like not, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm literally just no. Over but like, it. there's I'm no so way over it. you just hate me so much. I, I just do, wish there was a and way. I do. And to, like, to I know. Tone it down. Yeah. Whatever. There is because I just I, I hate people just like that. Are you? You're the person I hate in this world. Really? That's so just offensive. And but they do nothing wrong. And when people are provoked, oh, they're crazy, calling girls crazy and stuff like that. It's like. It, but taking no accountability, no responsibility. You think everything's just an attack against you. Everyone's against Ethan. Like, oh my gosh, I'm always right. I'm the. It's like, ugh. You and Jax don't deserve each other. So Jax, well, I can't believe you're going after Jax. He's such a sweet guy. Bye. Love you. All right, Trisha. All right, bye. Thanks for the great episode. You want to come with me or are you staying? It's not. You don't have to choose between me and Moses. He can do both, even if we hate each other. He he'll go with you. Okay, bye. Yeah. No, oh, he drove here. In my car. Bye, Trisha. Are we going to make TikToks? Are we going to make TikToks? We were supposed to make TikToks. She's leaving. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Well, uh, Trisha left. <laughs> so this is our first fight, our big real fight. She snapped on me and she left. I'm going to try to do a post-mortem on this. Um... I don't know. Maybe she's just having a bad day. But I do. You want to comment, Moses? Moses came back. You want to sit down? Go ahead. Get her phone. Yeah. She's like, Moses, you st pick, pick who you're staying with. But I was like, go ahead. Oh, Moses is here. Just give it time. Okay. Yeah. No, I figure. All right. Bye, Moses. Love you. Love you too, buddy. I was genuinely feeling bad. Cause, but I don't know. Because I feel like I always... Goof on goof with her like that, right, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Am, am I am I wrong to think that she was kind of like, well, maybe I shouldn't continue this conversation without her. Probably it's not. It's not fair. Probably not. I think I said my piece. Yep. But uh, we hope to see Trisha soon. We miss her. <laughs> and I really genuinely am sorry. I'm laughing because Dan's laughing. Hmm. I don't know what I could have done. I was really trying to resolve the issue, and I do. And Trisha, if you're watching this, please come back. Uh, we miss you already. So that concludes this episode of Frenemies. <laughs> More enemies today than friends. Hmm, that really went off the rails. Yep. But I guess that's part of the uh, thrill. Well, we said this was going to happen. I'm actually surprised it didn't happen sooner. I don't know. I thought I was trying to feel like maybe this. Well, I, I, I hope she'll be back. I hope she'll be back. That's all I can say. All right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll see you. In, I don't know what's the next episode, but hopefully next week. It might be a little longer than that. It might be never. I hope not because, like I said, I spent all, I invested. <laughs> so I'm trying to recoup here at least. But all right, guys. I'll, I'll, see, you, uh, I'll see you later.